Hello, hi, uh, good evening everyone. Uh, hope everyone can hear me loud and clear. So uh, my name is Vipin and uh, I'm from Exenda School of Management. And uh, to start with, I'd like to thank the Turning Point team for arranging this session today, uh, wherein I'll be discussing more about Exenda School of Management, its programs and uh, certain inclusions in the eligibility criteria that we have inculcated. Uh, and more about COVID-19 situation and of course the online classes that we have switched to uh, this, uh, you know, starting from April 2020 intake. So I, I, I'm going to be uh, here for another half an hour and uh, let's wait for a couple of more minutes so that more uh, students can join. And uh, while I'm speaking in the session, throughout the session, please feel free to uh, write in the chat box if you have any questions uh, and I'll be happy to answer them. All right, so I'll start with uh, by giving you a little bit brief about the college. So the college name is Exenda School of Management and uh, it's a post-secondary institution that uh, offers and specializes in management degrees. One is Bachelor's of Business Administration and one is Bachelor's of Hospitality Management. So the college is located in downtown Vancouver and to be specific, we are located in Burrard Street and from our campus, uh, just two minutes walking distance, we have a Burrard Skytrain station that connects these students to Surrey and other parts of BC. So, so a lot of students, uh, you know, who want to uh, stay in Surrey, they uh, commute back and forth from uh, Surrey to Vancouver because the transportation system is great. And uh, so uh, let's talk about uh, Bachelors of Business Administration uh, first. So anyone who's from the humanities, arts or uh, non-medical commerce background are welcome to apply for this program. So we have five specializations under Bachelors of Business Administration. We have uh, Human Resource Management, we have Accounting, we have uh, Marketing, we have International Business and we have General Management. So uh, I'll talk about Accounting first. So anyone who's looking forward uh, you know, to uh, pursue a professional degree in the field of Accounting, they can come and join at Exenda and uh, they can opt for Accounting as a specialization. Because once you complete your uh, BBA Accounting at Exenda and later you decide to give CP exams in Canada, you will get an exemption of 14 modules because uh, those modules were already inculcated in your accounting uh, program uh, within the BBA because it is CPA designated. So a huge benefit. I'd like to stress a point that anyone who's a CPA professional in Canada, the starting salary uh, would you know would start would be uh, around sixty thousand dollars and it can go up to hundred thousand dollars. So a huge benefit, a uh, edge that you get in the market once you graduate from the college. Then we have international business. So a very popular field, a very sought after field among the Indian students. So it is FITT designated, which is Forum for International Trade and Training. So anyone who's looking uh, you know, to make a career in the field of international trade, uh, this, is, uh, this is a specialization that you can choose. Uh, so the probable job options post completing international business uh, would be you can work in various government organizations you can work in revenue canada you can work in international sales international finance you can work in uh, you know uh, various ports so a lot of job options you can work in banks you can work in a lot of other financial institutions so a wide variety of uh, you know uh, job prospects you have once you complete international business uh, as a specialization then we have human resource management which is cphr designated so cphr is a chartered professional in human resources again a very uh, you know highly recognized designation in the field of human resources so you know uh, most of the girls you know uh, when i meet during fairs or uh, during my interactions uh, in schools and colleges so a lot of them uh, you know are really keen in making a career in the in the field of human resources so you know you can prob after post completing uh, you know uh, the degree in uh, BBA and choosing human resource management as a specialization you can land up in jobs like recruiting and placement or training and development and so on and so forth so then comes marketing uh, you know marketing is again a very popular specialization and marketing today has a huge scope 
you can either be a social media specialist post completing uh, the degree or you can work in a market research you can work in retail you can work in as a brand manager in an fmcg company or you can work in a lot of online companies we have today in the market then we have general management which is if you don't want to choose a specialization you can just opt for bb in general management right so a typically uh, a bachelor's degree in canada is of four years however if you want you can fast track this degree in 2.5 years so how will you fast track this degree in 2.5 years so we have a semester of three months we have a quarter semester so there are four semesters in a year term one term two term three and term four right so you have to attend minimum three terms three semesters in a year either you can attend the first three semesters in one go and take a break in the fourth semester or you can consecutively attend the first two terms and take a break in the third term and then resume your third term in the fourth semester if you decide not to take a break and continue and attend all the four semesters you are expected to complete the degree in 2.5 years but if you decide to take a break in any one of the semesters in a year you are expected to complete the degree in four years so our bachelor's of business administration is of 120 credits that means more the credits uh, it is it is it is useful for you it is helpful for you because later on when you apply for pr you get more points right then we have bachelor's of hospitality management all right i think one very important uh, point i'd like to highlight that for BBA, we have uh, we also have an internship available for three months. So this is uh, going to be an unpaid internship. However, um, this uh, totally depends on the student, uh, on the negotiation skills. Once you are placed in a company, let's say if there's an accounting student and they say to the college, I want to pursue my internship in the first year. So you can pursue your uh, internship even in the first semester uh, when you, uh, you know, opt for BBA as a program. So uh, if the accounting student says that I want to uh, pursue my internship uh, and he or she is placed in the accounting firm, so it simply means that uh, it will be unpaid but it totally depends on the negotiation how smart you are that you are negotiating with the company and you can convert that unpaid into a paid internship. Right? So you are getting three credits for the, this internship that means you are not wasting your time it's a part of your education. So Trisha, uh, so you uh, all right. So you uh, there are questions. I think uh, so. Trisha is asking any application fees. So Trisha, we don't have any upfront application fees. Uh, technically, once you apply to our college and you submit all the required academic documents, we will issue you the offer letter within two to five working days, and the letter of offer is free of cost. However, once you go to the college and you register for the first term, one fifty dollars as application fees will be deducted, but it will be deducted later upon registration. So upfront, we are not going to charge you anything. I hope that answers your question. All right. So moving forward, uh, I think I've covered the internship part for BBA. Now let's talk about uh, bachelor's of hospitality management. So it's another one of the most sought after you know courses among the Indian students, hospitality management. So anyone from the arts background, non medical background, or commerce background are welcome to apply for this program. Hospitality uh, again is a four year uh, bachelor's degree. However, if you want, you can fast track this degree in three years, out of which roughly 2.5 years you have to study, and last six months would be paid internship. When I say paid internship, it means once you pay the tuition fees for this course, the college will issue you a letter of acceptance and they will also issue you internship letters in advance before you fly to Canada. So, this is guaranteed. So, a lot of students ask that how much money are we going to earn during this internship? So it depends on how much uh, you know uh, work hours uh, you are putting in, and what is what is the average wage rate. So the average wage rate in BC is twelve dollars per hour. So considering if you work eight hours a day, you will roughly make three thousand dollars a month. And if you uh, you know work at the same pace for the next five months and six months in total, you will uh, make around sixteen to eighteen thousand dollars in those six months. So you're getting uh, paid, you're you're earning your livelihood, you're gaining experience, and you're getting six credits for this internship so that means it's adding up to a degree it's a part of your education so uh, there's a question by Tarun Deep he's asking can we travel uh, after getting visa borders are sealed so Tarun as of now as, as you know that the borders are sealed you cannot fly out of the country however if you have a visa for a particular college in Canada most of the institutions in Canada have switched to online classes 
so i'd encourage you i'd recommend uh, you to indulge in online classes you can uh, contact uh, you know contact the college or your respective counselor and they'll be help, happy to assist you and i I'd, I'd like to say that instead of deferring your intake you should indulge in uh, online classes for the time being and it is not going to affect your post study work permit if you're uh, if you even if you if you complete provided you complete 50% of your education in india all right so i think hospitality management and uh, bachelor's of business administration both have internships however under bba it's a 3 months unpaid internship for which you are getting 3 credits for hospitality you are getting a 6 months paid internship which is guaranteed and uh, you're going to roughly make around 15 to 18000 dollars uh, you know while you are doing your internship in uh, the hospitality program so i think uh, if you have any questions pertaining to bba and uh, hospitality program please let me know and i'll be happy to answer any questions you have all right uh, let's talk about the eligibility criteria as we know that in the current scenario a lot of students are unable to appear for their ielts and uh, in the meantime they are also taking a lot of online uh, ielts classes so anyone uh, who is unable to give ielts or uh, and there has been a you know delay in this ebsc and icc results so considering that we are giving you conditional offer letters for our upcoming intake which is july 2020 and october 2020 intake so even if you don't have ielts and even if you don't have your 12th grade mark sheets in hand you can still apply and we will issue you a conditional offer letter and later once you have your ielts trf at hand and the uh, you know 12th mark sheets at hand we will issue you uh, a revised unconditional offer letter so the agenda of uh, providing you the conditional offer letters is simply so that you are able to block your seat for a particular intake for a particular program then uh, i'd also like to highlight uh, in terms of english test uh, we are taking ielts uh, for uh, anyone who's having an ielts score of 6.5 overall no band less than 6 will be eligible for a direct entry into the program for anyone who's having 6 overall or 6.5 overall but minimum you know uh, has 5.5 in one or two modules will still accept you but with a condition that you have to pursue eap first so eap is english for academic purposes that you will be uh, that you have to study uh, you know once you register in the college in the first term so there are certain things about eap i'd like to clarify so eap is a program that is designed in such a way that you are getting 3 credits for it that means you are not wasting your time while you are pursuing your eap you'll uh, still it's adding up to your degree and if you want you can parallelly take two academic programs along with your eap right and we have recently launched eap scholarship so that means whatever you are spending in your eap program Uh, you have the opportunity to earn it back in the form of scholarship and redeem it in the next semester so let's say once you appear for the eap program and you get a score of a minus or higher you will get a scholarship of 2000 dollars and if you get a score of b plus or higher you will get a scholarship of 1500 dollars so i think it's a huge benefit uh, for for all the students who are spending around 1400 dollars uh, for your eap program you have the opportunity to earn it back by performing good uh, while you're giving your eap exam If you have any questions uh, pertaining to EAP, just uh, put in the chat box, and I'll be happy to answer. All right. So students who uh, have either appeared for IELTS or have not appeared for IELTS, in both the cases you can apply for uh, a condition. Uh, you know, in both the cases you can apply for the offer letter. However, there are a lot of students who are indulging in Duolingo test. So we have started accepting Duolingo as well. So anyone who is scoring, uh, you know, 120 and above in Duolingo, you are eligible for direct entry into the program for both BBA and BHM program. If you are scoring below 120, we will accept you. But there is going to be a supplementary interview round uh, with the college. then we are also accepting pt score anyone uh, who's having an overall score of 60 will be eligible for a direct entry into the program if you have below 60 we'll still accept you but with the condition that you have to enroll in eap first which is english for academic purposes so we have uh, one more question uh, by uh, janki is eap mandatory janki eap is not mandatory uh, if you have an ielts score of 6.5 overall and minimum 6 in each module you don't have to go through eap that simply means you are you you are eligible for a direct entry into the program eap is required only if you have an ielts score of 6 overall or 5.5 in one module i hope that answers your question 
All right. So moving forward, uh, I'd also like to talk about the credit transfer facility that we have at Exenda School of Management. So a lot of students who are, uh, you know, currently studying BBA or, uh, you know, BCom or have pursued, have completed their bachelors in India and are unable to apply for a master's in Canada because, of, you know, because of XYZ reasons, uh, you can apply, you can come and apply to our BBA uh, at Exenda. So it's going to be a credit transfer so what does credit transfer means it simply means whatever you have studied in your indian bachelors those subjects will be transferred to a canadian bachelors so let's say uh, you know there are 10 courses that uh, that are transferred from your indian bachelors so you will be given a, you will be admitted in the second year of BBA program that means you are saving on the tuition cost of the first year and you're saving your time and the rest three years which are remaining you can fast track your degree in two years so a huge benefit and once you apply for credit transfer it is going the evaluation is going to be free of cost you just need to submit your bachelor's uh, degree mark sheets and we'll give you the credit transfer letter which would be stating that how many credits are we transferring so that it helps you for a preliminary assessment that how much money you are going to spend for the rest of your degree. So so anyone uh, who's listening to me and is a bachelor's holder either in uh, BCom, BBA or you know any other relevant field uh, or even hospitality, three years degree program, they can uh, apply for a credit transfer for our BBA or hospitality management. All right, so we have four intakes in a year. We have January, we have April, we have July, and we have October. So currently we are open for July 2020 and October 2020 intake. So anyone who's uh, listening to me and is visa approved for July intake for Exenda School of Management, please register for our online classes, which are going to commence from 29th of June. For anyone who's holding a letter of acceptance for Exenda School of Management uh, for July intake, and let's say either your file is under embassy or you are in the process of filing for your visa. In both the cases, you can still, you know, register for online classes for July intake. And later on, let's say at the end of the semester or in the middle of the semester, if your visa gets refused, we will refund your entire tuition fees as per normal ASM refund policy. So I know a lot of students have questions that, you know, we have not filed for visa, but we do want to register for online classes because we, they don't want to waste their time. So I would recommend, highly recommend that please contact your turning point counselor. If you're having a letter of acceptance in hand, they can probably connect you uh, to me and I'll be happy to answer any questions you might have regarding the online classes for July 2020 intake. More questions coming up. Uh, so Trisha, how much your, uh, how much gap is acceptable? So see, uh, Trisha, if it's one to two years, it's okay. But if it's more than that, it has to be justified. Uh, you know, what were you doing uh, in, in, in that time frame? If it's more than that, and if you were indulged in a job, you need to furnish a job, you know, experience letter. If you were indulged in a business, you need to, uh, you know, uh, furnish a letter stating that you were indulged in a business. So it has to be justified if it's more than two years. Okay, so I'd like to highlight uh, more on the scholarship part now. So for uh, anyone, uh, so we are offering a scholarship of $5,000 for our upcoming intake visit July 2020. And anyone who's having an IELTS score of six overall with a minimum six in each module is eligible for this scholarship. So irrespective of your academics, if you have six overall, no balance than six, you can avail the scholarship in the first year starting from the second term, $1,000 every semester up till you consume the entire scholarship amount. Okay, so if you have any questions, just feel free to uh, put in the chat box and I'll be happy to answer parallelly while I'm speaking. Uh, talking about the tuition fees for both the courses, so the tuition fees uh, for BBA and uh, for Bachelors of Hospitality Management is 16,605 Canadian dollars for a year. However, if uh, it's a non-STU student, you have the flexibility to pay $7,000 Canadian dollars, uh, which is one-term deposit. However, our recommendation always uh, for student is to pay the entire first year tuition fees, which is $16,605 Canadian dollars. I think as an international student, uh, you know, once you decide to you know study abroad your journey doesn't stop 
while you have the offer letter in hand or even if you have the visa in hand it, it starts once you you know uh, land up in the airport at the airport in canada and enter a classroom so at the uh, you know extenda school of management does take an extra mile and support you at every step so that uh, they don't they don't only help you the faculty doesn't only help you while you're studying but they also we also help you as a college to find a good job so as the uh, you know tagline of the college says international uh, you know international thinking and individual focus so yes we do take an extra mile for every student and help you in your studies so you know if a student is unable to cope up in a program in a particular subject uh, we are always ready to give you additional classes without any extra tuition cost once you reach the college and since 2017 Exenda has been, uh, you know, uh, has been conducting career fairs wherein uh, we invite the companies within the premises of the college. It's on a very small scale level. However, uh, it enables you to connect to the industry professionals on a real time basis. So a lot of students exchange their CVs with the employers and if the employers feel that they are a right fit for, for their company, for the role they are looking for, they might give you a heads up and tell you, hey, let's connect once you graduate from the college. So I think it's a huge benefit if a, if a college is taking this step of arranging you know this session wherein you can meet the industry professionals while you are studying so let's say we have four semesters in a year so we invite companies every semester so all the students have the opportunity to connect with the industry professionals four times in a year so a huge benefit for every student who is looking for uh, you know uh, college support in terms of placement i think i've covered most of the things uh, I think uh, last but not the least, I think uh, two, three things I'd like to specify that a lot of students today have confusion regarding the work permit for private colleges. So as far as the Xenda School of Management is concerned, if you pursue uh, either BBA or Bachelors of Hospitality Management, you're eligible for a postgraduate work permit of up to three years. And if you want, you can check this. Uh, you can just log into uh, Canada.ca and uh, check this under the designated learning institution list. And any, if anyone who's listening to me and is specifically looking to study in uh, British Columbia, uh, please uh, log into workbc.ca. Rep I'll repeat, workbc.ca, so that you can see the average wage rate of a specialization that you are going to indulge in uh, in a particular program. So I think it's a very informative uh, website wherein you can see the you know related jobs uh, with respect to your specialization with respect to your specialization that you're going to pursue in Canada. So you can you, you can take it as a homework and log into that site workbc.ca. I think one more question coming up from Janki: Are there internships co-ops for students? Yes, Janki. As I mentioned, uh, for our BBA program, we have a three months internship available for students. It's an unpaid internship, but you're getting three credits for that. And however, once you are placed in a company for internship, it totally depends on your negotiation, how smart you are, and how. How smartly you can work, uh, you know, work it out and convert that unpaid internship into a paid one. However, for our hospitality program, we have a paid internship for six months, which you can pursue at the end of the degree, and you'll end up, uh, you know, earning between fifteen to eighteen thousand uh, dollars if you work eight hours a day. And considering the average wage rate of BC is thirteen dollars per hour, I hope that answers your question. So Trisha is asking, uh, does college provide accommodation? So Trisha, we do not uh, provide in-house accommodation. However, we have third-party tie-ups in uh, in BC. So if you're looking for a CAD uh, accommodation or airport pickup, we will connect you with the service providers and uh, so that you can take your discussion forward. So we definitely can connect you to the service providers in Canada who can help you with accommodation and airport pickup. All right, I think uh, today a lot of students have questions with respect to online classes in Canada because either the student is stuck in India or even if, even if the student is in Canada, they are not going to college. College is closed and they are conducting uh, online classes for, for both of the degrees, uh, for BB and BHM as far as Xenda is concerned. So a lot of students have questions, how we'll be uh, able to manage the classes. So I'll tell you, as far as Xenda School of Management is concerned, we are giving every student a unique ID and a password. Uh, we are giving you an ASM platform. It's just like Facebook. You just need, you need to have to log in with your unique ID and password, wherein you can access all your modules, study modules. You can access your presentations. And it also enables you to directly email your instructor, you know. So I think uh, 
while you are at home this is the time that you should work on your skills and indulge in online classes because you are not only you know saving on your living cost but you are also saving a lot of time while you are studying at home because because i think while you are at home your whole focus goes into in, into the classroom right so uh, our classes are designed in such a way that it supports uh, the time zones of india and uh, if you think that it is uh, relatively it is not working as per your time zone you can just email your instructor and our instructors are more than happy and enrollment services department is more than happy to reschedule it for you if uh, you face any issue with respect to that so that's all uh, i i'll wait for a couple of more minutes if you have questions more questions relating to programs just let me know and i'll be happy to answer so for those who are joining in late i'll repeat once more so uh, this session was about exenda school of management uh, which is located in downtown uh, vancouver and offers two specialized uh, management degrees one is a bachelor's of business administration and one is bachelor's of hospitality management and in the bba we have five specializations accounting human resource management international business marketing and general management uh, which comes up uh, with a three months unpaid internship which you can pursue in the first year and if you want you can fast track the degree in 2.5 years by not taking a academic break then other another course we another degree we have is a bachelor of hospitality management which is a 123 credits degree and if you want you can fast track it in 3 years out of which 2.5 years you will roughly study and the last 6 months would be paid internship so when i say paid internship it simply means that you are going to earn uh, and gain the real time experience of the hospitality industry and if you work 8 hours a day considering the average wage rate of 12 dollars per hour in bc you will end up making around 15 to 18000 dollars in a year which is equivalent to your first year tuition fees at exenda and uh, for anyone who is looking forward to apply for a july or two th or october 2020 intake they just can contact the turning point team and we will uh, process your offer letter within 2 to 5 working days uh, for students who doesn't have ielts score or uh, you know have uh, doesn't have their 12th mark sheets in hand they can still apply and we will issue you a conditional offer letter for both july and october intake and anyone who is having duolingo test at hand we'll accept it and um, will issue you the offer letter accordingly so uh, any questions you might have after the session please contact the turning point counseling team as they are our official partner in india and we'll be happy to uh, review your documents academics and uh, process the application i'd uh, highly suggest you to uh, log into exenda.com if you would like to gather more information regarding the programs internships or fee structure and uh, i i'm sure it's 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 going to be helpful for you so thank you everyone for joining in the session today so anyone who's coming in late you can just this is a recorded session and you can uh, listen it again on uh, the facebook page page of turning point so yeah so any yeah naresh so i'm waiting uh, if viewers can ask questions uh, i i can still wait and answer their questions all right i think uh, i'd like to sum up the session now so thank you so much for taking out time today and listening to the session i hope it was a resourceful conversation and it helped you at a certain point and is going to help you in your future course of actions that you going to decide either for online classes or face to face uh, in canada um, and i'd like to thank again for the turning point team for arranging this session today thanks everyone and have a good day bye for now